wasn't good like when we entered we entered from a line and then it just wasn't good and then the buffet the food looked poor and shit and then we paid like i don't know i think we paid 28 dollars american for it something around that it was not good at all not good out golden corral i would rate of four out of ten just because the bread rolls bread rolls were the best thing about it other than that it was not good the fruits were actually good actually the fruits were good so yeah that's why i Garbage. Garbage. I'm a hater of Golden, Cor Golden Corral. So we got the Golden Corral around like 5 because we left uh, his place at like 12. And all the way in Rochester. Went to Rochester Golden Corral. I don't know why I went to Rochester because I just delayed our trip even more. And then we went. Sorry about that outside. outside noise. You guys aren't used to the suburb. And I live in the suburbs, guys. I live in the suburbs. You see those suburb sounds. They wanted to get licks. We didn't get licks because it would close at nine, the liquor section. And then we didn't get much because all the groceries are expensive. Like, why are they showing us Canadian prices? Yeah, we figured the tax rate was going to be lower, 2% tax. I think it was 2%, maybe less. Where's my lighting? Sorry about that. 2% tax or whatever. Uh, we were in 
Pittsburgh because we were in Pennsylvania at this point. Went to Tops to get some stuff. Yeah, two percent eggs. We got some eggs and stuff. Tops, I would read. I would read Tops. Tops, 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 Tops. Like a four out of ten. Also, like it's a, it's a, like a, it's not a cheap grocery store. We went there expecting it to be cheap because, you know, in America, I think it's supposed to be cheap compared to Canada. But and then it wasn't even good. Like we bought the stuff that we bought from there. We bought this like bought yogurt, eggs, cheese, bread, all ass. Except for the bread. All ass though. Ass. So yeah, four out of ten. It would just I give it points because it was open. The fact that it was even open, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, we went to the Airbnb uh right in Pittsburgh in I think it was Troy Hill. Troy Hill area. Have you ever been? It's very we were sketched out as all these buildings and shit. Let me see if I have a video. These, I, I like, we thought we were gonna get robbed or some shit. Because everything basically looked like this. It looked like this, basically, but more stacked up, more stacked together on the other side. So we thought we were gonna get robbed or some shit. I didn't realize that Pittsburgh was such an old city, though. But yeah, got to their PB at like a 12, and then they wanted to stay up. Or did we go to sleep? I forget. We stayed up for a bit. Next day, everybody woke up late. I was the earliest to wake up, which is kind of sad. I woke up at like 10, they woke up at 12. So I went out and played on the ball court nearby. I showed a video of that. Video, video, where is my ball court video? Yep, this nice little ball court. Nobody was on it. I went the next day too. Nobody was there. It's pretty good. So that is what we did. That's what I waited. stuff is out of order for some reason because we did not see this on monday no we did not we did not okay so then we they wanted snacks and alcohol so we went to target we went to target downtown pittsburgh in the financial district it was straight booty cheeks bro why was everything so expensive we go to target because we're like oh everything's gonna be cheap there everything was not cheap there guys everything was not cheap nothing was cheap that target ass so then we drove 20 minutes to Walmart. Walmart had reasonable stuff, but they stayed in there for like a good hour. Getting snacks and whatnot. And I'm like, I just wanted Pokemon cards. I need to get Pokemon cards. So yeah. And then we went to Duncan. Went to the drive through Duncan type vibe. And then I got a I got a just matcha latte. Because I know Duncan matchas are great. And it was so good. I put my boy on. Okay, so the Duncan matcha from this place, I would give it um nine out of ten nine out of ten because it was super good it was actually give it eight point two out of ten because it was bare ice but it was good very good very good so we went to Duncan and then we went to this strip district which is like a strip type of thing with stores and stuff and then we told looked around and then we went to this putting edge place I forget what it's called no first we went to uh, sandwich shop turns out we went to like the original location i had no idea we went to the original location but it was like the first location ever made and then look how huge the sandwich was the sandwich is huge for especially for the price of paid it like i gave him a three dollar dip because i was feeling nice i made 14 but it was 11 because i got the rib sandwich or the steak sandwich sorry steak sandwich i was i was kind of overcooked but for the portions i give it like an eight out of ten also because it was pretty good not a bad experience. It was a very big sandwich, a very big sandwich. So I didn't mind. It was a no biggie. And then we went to go back to the thing. And then we went to go to this advanced mini pod place. Look, they had the scoreboards up and everything. And like the scoreboard. I don't know. Look, and then yeah, and, and then when you put the ball down and shit, it tracks who's on the court, who's playing. How many shots you took? It's actually mad, mad crazy. Like this one of the courses too. It was so sick. This place, I forget. It's like a putting shack or something. I won the first round, but then I came in third, the second round because I, yeah, I, I, I choked. I sold because I was getting a bit too cocky and I sold. So, yeah, I forget what the place is called, but it was fairly cheap. It's in yes, yeah, the Strip District, Pittsburgh. 
this place I keep it like a 9 at down because I was fucking crazy fucking crazy freaking amazing we, we did two rounds there because we liked it so much and the second round was cheaper like half off because um why is that half off because we won already so that was pretty sick and then what did we do what did we do what did we, I think we just went back to the Airbnb unfortunately yeah we just went back to the Airbnb next day the next day we did a lot of stuff so first we got up ate our brekkie, breakfast breakfast brekkie vibes and then we went to the incline the incline on the mountain thing where you go up the thing on the mountain and then this was the view at the top it's fairly cheap it was two dollars fifty cents there and back i think two way yeah it's so five dollars in total and then the views were quite immaculate look at that skyline right there pretty nice skyline Pittsburgh has a but I thought uh, we were looking at it Pittsburgh is a, just a small city so yeah so I'll show you guys some more stuff so the incline I would rate like a 6 7 out of 10 because like it's not that special the inside of the incline thing the car it wasn't that really special then we went to what do we call Randy Land or something Randy Land because my brother wanted to go see Randy Land Bro, it's just literal garbage, bro. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. It's just like, bro, what? Just garbage out. Like, what do you want me to do with that? It's just straight garbage. Like, how is anyone entertained by this shit? It's not art. It's just garbage. So, Randy Land, I would give like a 3 out of 10 because like, you're not doing really much. Then I got this nice little aesthetic video. Can't really see properly. I don't know where though. Where in Pittsburgh did we go? We went to like North Oakland near the University of Pittsburgh. That's where I went. And then that's where I got the shirt. That's my shirt, guys. Guys like my shirt. This is Panthers. Then, yeah, University, if it can just focus, University of Pittsburgh. It was a pretty nice campus. Not too bad. And then I got this matcha from Duncan. Uh, raspberry matcha. With the raspberry shots. Three of the raspberry shots. One Splenda, skim milk. Three matcha powder, less ice. Fire. This one, I would rate a 9.7 out of 10. 9.7. Because, 9.5, because I wish the color would change red. Like a reddish green type of vibe, but it didn't. But it's fine. But it was still fire, okay? That was still fire. And then, yeah, we went to this cathedral. That's why I went to the university. We went to the cathedral. Then we went to the cathedral, and then we got Duncan. Oh, no, we got Duncan. No, first we went to go to the pit stop. That's what they call the shop. For the virgin whatnot. And then we got Duncan. Then went to the thing. The shop was pretty fire. Like they had some fire merch. Not gonna lie. And then the cathedral was pretty freaking nice. Look at that. Pretty freaking nice. And then we went all the way to the top. The view on the top wasn't that spectacular though. It wasn't the best. Like I thought it'd be more, but then we got up there, and then it's like, damn, it's kind of boring, low key. But the cathedral, I'd rate, uh, I'd rate 8 out of 10. That's a good experience. I'm not complaining or anything. No complaints here whatsoever. Give me some light. Because, like, the different camera angle dynamic going on here. Then we went to the museum of, what's it called? Conyers, Conyers, Conyers or something. Conyers. Um, museum. Bro, they had this. We went for the dinosaurs, but the art side of the things was super nice. The art side of things was super duper nice, super duper nice. I was a big fan of it. Like, look at this shit, man. Look how, look at that. That was pretty sick. And then we got this historic kind of vibe place. It was, it was sick. Like, no complaints at all. That shit was amazing to look at. Like, the dinosaurs, uh, the art side of things, I would rate the art part of it. Museum, like the part that we went first, I would rate that a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. But then we went to the dinosaur section. Or sorry, we went through, walked through most of the things. Went to this gem section. You can't really tell. I love my brightness. This gem section type of shit. It was alright. It wasn't that cool. The gem section. No, actually, it was pretty cool. Actually, I keep it a 9 out of 10 too. Then went to the dinosaurs art. I was expecting a lot more dinosaurs, but. Alas, we did it. And then the T-Rex. 
I guess it because it's the day, but the, the mood in it was not, it was not like a vibe. Like the place was dark, you could barely see any. Oh, we saw it perfectly fine, but like, it just wasn't a mood. You know what I'm saying? So the dinosaur part of the museum, I give up. Like a 7 out of 10. 6.7, 6.7 out of 10, yeah. It wasn't anything amazing. And then we went to Canes, Raising Canes. It was alright. I got the three finger combo. It was alright. Nothing special. The sauce was the best thing about it, I guess. And the bread. The bread wasn't even that good, though. The service was kind of trash. Some people were kind of trash for the service, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm a very respectful when it comes to customer service because I would customer service myself. But, you know, I get it. But Green Cane, I give like a 7 out of 10, too. Like, it wasn't that amazing. I don't get the hype. Oh, the light is coming back because, like, at that point, I think they were done for the day, even though I want to keep going out. They're gonna show you like a little ball kit lip. Boom, foul, and one. Yeah, so me and him, we played one on one a few times. It shows more ball clips. You guys can find it on my TikTok if you want. Boom, I was, I was on fire. And then that was it for that day. Left like uh, 11 o'clock. One check out, check out was 11 o'clock. So we left at 11. But yeah, no, we left at 11. And then had, we went to Grove City in Pennsylvania. I had a Duncan though on the way. I got that's what I got. Uh, matcha blueberry shot. This one was ass. I, I didn't get skin milk or anything. It was not good. I used whole milk. They used whole milk. It was not the best. I would say not the best. So this Duncan. Blueberry matcha, I would give like uh, sorry, I had to make sure nobody was coming home. That's why I'm sitting here. I would say blueberry matcha was like uh, um, seven, six out of ten, six out of ten. Uh, yeah, six out of ten. And then went to Grove City Premium Outlets. I can't really tell, I guess, but yeah, we just did a few shopping. Uh, Shoes, some shorts, two shorts, one shirt. Uh, let's see if you can see. Can you see? I'm gonna show you guys my shorts that I got. They're pretty bro. The outlet was mad cheap. Mad cheap. Can you really tell? Can't really tell. I don't know what's going on with my microphone, but it just disconnected again. But the outlet was mad, mad cheap. Mad cheap. Can you see my shorts? enjoyed this video 
I don't know. Oh yeah, after this video, I'll be back, back home, back in the main studio. So enjoy the view while it lasts. Yeah, let me know what you thought, and I'll catch you guys in my next.